Oh, hi everyone. So that was a little copy of Jack Scrap, but oh well. Hiya, Rue speaking. Today, I know the subject looks a bit depressing. I hope that you enjoy this video. And I hope you're sitting there with a cup of tea. It's really nice, just like this one. <sighs> so I did film this video just before I put the iPod on. Um, and I ripped up the sheet and folded it away because I thought it had recorded, but it didn't record anything. So that really, really annoys me. But hopefully now, it's so good. So I'm gonna get started. The name of this story is All Nuts with an exclamation mark. I don't know why I'm going hillbilly with All Nuts. Basically, it was in a processing plant in Georgia, America, and it's about a guy called Willie Murphy. Hiya, Willie. This guy called Willie Murphy was more than a bit shell-shocked when one time at his processing plant, a avalanche of peanuts fell towards him and buried him alive. Hmm, that's interesting. He got hit by an avalanche of peanuts. Oh my lord. That is a way to die. I'm just saying, it's painful. But it's the way to die. And that was in 1993. So it's only about 20 years ago. So could be 20 years, will it? Next one. This one is called Casket Case. And that already gives it a clue because it is about an undertaker called Marc Bourgeday. I think he's French. Who knows? We'll never know because he's out there. It already gives you a clue to how he died. Casket undertaker. Mark one day was at his funeral directors just working as normal when a bunch of coffins fell on top of him and he sadly died. Now that sounds pretty normal considering you work in funeral directors. What is even worse is that when it came to his funeral, he was buried in one of the coffins that fell on top of him. Is that some kind of tribute or something? Because it's a pretty bad one if it is. Oh well, he did now. 31 years he's been up there. <sighs> but this one is called Heads with an exclamation mark because that's usually used in football. Which gives a clue to what it is about. There was once a Ghanaian goalkeeper who was playing for Ghana in a cup match. He was just in goal as normal when suddenly the crossbar fell on his head and he died in an instant. Just you know, crossbar, dead. That seems a bit sad, because the crossbar never really falls on your head. But what is even worse is that the other team got accused of using witchcraft to win the game. Let's just imagine what it would have been like if they did use witchcraft. Oh Harry, you alright? No, I'm not alright to be honest mate. Oh why? No but Ron, look at it, we're losing. What are we going to do? Well I have a bit of an idea, it's never been used before but I think we can do it. We work out our wands. We use Expelliarmus on that crossbar and it'll just fall right on his head. Well, you know, just hurt him a little bit. Expelliarmus. Oh, oh, crap. It fell on him. He died. Oh, no. They're going to find out we use witchcraft. Such a shame. Witchcraft doesn't exist. Get over yourself. Who would use witchcraft in a football game? You just win by... If someone kicks you in the shin a little bit and you go, ah, my shin, you get a free kick and you get a goal. That's the way of football nowadays. It's lost its spirit. But you never use witchcraft in a football game. <clears throat> this next one is called Rough and Tumble. Seems to be a bit of a clue, but not really much of a clue. Um, it's about a guy called Ray Washbrook. Wash is a very big clue in what this is about. I've actually seen this on a TV show before because it was about weird ways of dying and I've wanted to find out properly about this guy and I found out what his name was and everything and what was really the cause of why he died. So now I've found it and I'm going to tell it to you guys. This guy called Ray Washbrook climbed into an industrial tumble dryer once because there was a piece of linen stuck in there. He climbed into it to get the linen out. But as he climbed in, the tumble dryer turned on and he was spanned for 20 minutes at 110 degrees Celsius. Ah, that is a way to die in the tumble dryer. At least he went up hygienic. I mean, that's alright, isn't it? Mm hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. This next one is called Goodnight Ellipses Forever. That sounds a little bit 
intense. It's really not. It's just stupid and funny. This guy was called Mark Gleason and he was a chronic snorer. One time he decided to take matters into his own hands and he shoved two tampons up his nose. Large ones as well. Turns out that in his sleep he died of suffocation. Why would you suck tampons in your nose? They are what go up ladies' for JJ's and catch her insides. You don't stuff them up your nose. I know they're not used, but still, it's for the wrong purpose. And they're made of paper, so you should have guessed that you're going to die of con constipation? You should have guessed that you're going to die of suffocation. It's pure sense. Get some common sense, mate. Last one now, and this one is titled Die Laughing. You can pretty much already guess what it's about. It's about someone dying of laughter. But this guy is called Alex Mitchell. He's British and he was 50 and he died of a heart failure because he laughed so much. Now this sounds pretty normal I think, even though I've only seen anybody die of laughter in Mary Poppins. But oh well, it seems pretty normal. But it's the show he was watching that makes me a bit like, really? You die laughing at that? It was a BBC comedy and it was called The Goodies. Um, I'll just tell you what the sketch was that he laughed at. It was a man dressed as a Scotsman playing the bagpipes. That was one of the sketches that he was laughing at. It's this next one that I just don't understand. This guy was in a fight and he used the Scottish martial art of, I repeat, hoots, toots or chain. I don't know what that is, but apparently he used it in a fight and it made this guy die of laughter. It's gonna be pretty damn funny if it makes you die. Oh, what is England come to? The all right thing is, is that his widow afterwards wrote to the stars of the show to say, thank you for making my husband's last moments very happy moments. Now I think that's really sweet, but I think also that the stars might have been a bit like, huh, we killed someone, is that murder? Hmm, I don't know, but still it's pretty damn weird. Rest in peace, Alex Mitchell. I hope you're laughing in heaven. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you like this video you can give it a thumbs up, but if you don't like it you can comment below and you can tell me what I should talk about next to make this video a little bit more interesting because that would really help me out. Also all the links to my Twitter and my Instagram are down below so you can check them out and I'll also put the link to my cover channel which you should go and check out down below because that is a lot more successful than this one. Thank you everyone for watching, subscribe if you wanna, so yeah. See you later, bye! When you're ready, come and get it now tonight.